and be sent by a college to do the Lord's will. You see that? You guys just be woken up, just be woken up, just like we was woken up. Young, it don't matter. The Lord looking for soldiers. I've seen children over there in Haiti, teaching like 12 years old. And they out there like this with garbage. Shalom! You know what I mean? So this, this is meant for y'all, man. Alright, it's not meant for the women to teach. It's not meant for the women to teach. It's meant for the men to teach and regain our kingdom. I got one. Alright, the women waiting for us. Go ahead. Alright, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, right. verse 31. Alright, America about to be destroyed with thermonuclear destruction. And I'm going to be laughing and sipping wine. Go ahead. And ye, my flock right. of my pasture, are men. Oh, so the Lord calling unto the men. Go ahead. The men and of I, these tribes. And I am your power. The Lord is your power. That's why we don't have no power right now. Everybody got a God but us. They got Buddha, Allah, the, the Arabs. You know, white man got Caesar Borgia, that picture. Who else? We don't have one. We got one though. He's a real God. Yeah, he's a yeah, real God. Who the who the uh the Native Americans used to call Quetzalcoatl. Cost, cost they had the wrong doctrine on it, but they had the right uh idea. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Sirach, chapter 17, verse 17. That's right. Go ahead. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, right, he set a ruler over every people. Well, I just said that. Over every people, the Lord set a ruler. Go ahead. But Israel is the Lord's portion. But we we belong to the Lord. See, we're, that's why he called us what? You heard it in your life before, probably. Lost sheep. Lost sheep. It probably came across you before. Why? Because it's you. We the lost sheep. We the ones that's naive that believe anything we see. Hey, you want a job? I'll get you a job. Cut your beard. I'll get you a job. Wear the, wear the rope around your neck to tie. I'll get you a job. You know what I mean? They baiting us in. All right, go ahead. Instead of telling you, hey, grow your beard. You know, hey, you're a king. You're a prince. And you actually have an inheritance. But you got a responsibility. You walking around every day on this earth, and it's about to get destroyed. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I just got down. Fifty-eight and one. Right. It says, "Cry aloud, spare not." Right. So that's what we're doing. We're crying aloud. Right. We're usually louder than this. We're taking it easy today. Go ahead. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So you lift up your voice like a trumpet. Not in the church. Not in the church. The church is lying to you. All right. Scripture say what? He exists not in temples made with hands. Read that again, brother. It says, "Cry aloud." Right. Spare not. So we don't spare these people. White, black, Chinese, anybody can get it. Police, anybody can get it. We got work for everybody with the word, not physically. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. We lift up our voice like a trumpet to tell the so-called white man that they're the devil. Go ahead. The devil. And he hit me. And I'm the devil. Thank you. And I agree. Go ahead. And show my people their transgression. Right. The word devil means deceiver. He admitted it. Right. And show our people their transgressions. Because every day that you're breathing, you're transgressing against the Lord without knowing it. It's 613 laws in the Bible. Like Halloween. The Lord don't deal with Halloween. That's called what? Saturday, um... What's that called? The Day of the Dead. Day of the dead. That's the worship of the Day of the Dead. That's a pagan holiday. Come from Greece. You got Christmas. It's supposed to mean Christ Mass. You know, the gathering of Christ on His birth. The Lord was born in spring. They celebrate Christmas when? Winter. In winter. The Lord was born in spring, though. You feel what I'm saying? So they're lying to us. So what we're celebrating in winter is the birth of Nimrod. They lying to us. The Christmas tree is in the Bible. Did you know that? Watch this. Y'all got that? So it ain't nowhere near Christmas, but let's bring it up. This is Jeremiah chapter 10. And I'm going to start at verse 1. <laughs> right. It says, Hear ye the word which Yahweh speak unto you, O the house of Israel. This, this word is to y'all. It's not to them. It's not to these heathens, they're heathens. We can prove it. Go ahead. Thus says Yahweh, learn not the ways of the heathen. Heathens. And be not dismayed of the signs of heaven. Right. Go ahead. For the heathen 
are dismayed at them. So the heathens worship all everything you see, like that that uh, solar eclipse, that lunar eclipse that just flat passed. Those are signs from the Most High for our freedom. But them, they scared of that, or they worship it, or they do their little witchcraft on those days. You know what I mean? Like um, uh, what's her name? Cleo. Remember that old? You know what I'm talking about the gypsy chick. They into that stuff. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Hard school. What? Verse three. For the customs of the people are vain. So their customs and their traditions are vain. They doing it. They're completing it, but it's in vanity. You see that? Go ahead. It says, for one cutting, cutting a tree out. Cut up. So like you. For one cut up a tree out of the forest. Oh, what are they doing on Christmas? They cut them trees down, bro. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen yep. with a with the axe. The work of the work with the axe. They cut the tree down. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and with gold. What do they do? They deck it. Go ahead, brother. Cut it. What? What do you say, bro? That's right. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and gold. Woo! They deck it with silver and gold. Go back up one. What do you say on verse 3? All right. Verse 3. This is what it says about that. For the custom of the people are vain. No. So that's the custom. That tree. Now I'll go through the whole thing. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the, the work of the hands of the white men with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with, with nails. What they do when you bring it in the house? You put the nails at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. And with hammers, that it move not. That it won't fall. Go ahead. It says they are upright as the pine tree. They look like a palm tree. Them tall trees. They stand up just like that. But speak not. They must need be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Basically, basically, in the times of Babylon, people used to worship that tree. But now what do our children do? They come and bow down to it, getting the present up under it. You see that? And they don't know that it's Santa, Santa Claus. You, you, you switch the word Santa around, it spells Satan. Satan Claus, same thing. And you look him up, he comes from a, a Catholic. Santa Claus. His original name was Sinterklaas. It's a it's a it's an English deity, man. It's just crazy, man. The German they used to kill babies too. The Germans used to kill babies on those days. So anyway, the, all of the holidays in America are wicked. Saint Valentine's Day. That was a day of uh of pedophilia. And they went around killing people, killing people, and putting their heart up on stakes. Kind of like purge. Yeah, it was like a purge um, uh, in Greece. And they call it what? Uh, Saint, Saint Valentine's Day. It was a guy named Valentine. And our people celebrating and giving cards to our girls. You know what I mean? Weakened enough. We don't really want to do that, though. We just want some box. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and a friend. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey. Acts 17 and 24. Yahweh that made the world and all the things therein, and the sea that he is Lord of heaven and earth. We we speak speak not in temples made with hands. Oh, we got to go back. Go ahead. Acts 17 and 24. 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 You, 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 and you. He doesn't dwell in these temples. The temple is what? <laughs> Scattered around the four corners of the earth. Each brick. Each brick. Our job is to what? Put the mortar on you. And the Lord what? Stacks the brick. We come together mentally. And we build what? A building. You feel me? That's a community to be able to commune together. We ain't even got to be together to commune. As long as we in the same mindset. Right? So what does the word edification mean? So we're edifying you according to the word. I'm getting chills too. The word edify means to build up. See, we're building each other right now. You know, you realizing that you're very important. You know, you may have somebody that said you was nobody. You know, you may have a woman that said you was nobody. You may have had your parent, anybody, your teacher, looked at you like you wasn't like you was trash. You might see it on the TV and it's it, it like. You know, what place we got in this life. But now this gives you hope. This gives you hope. 
Now you live from this day different. And if you don't turn to the Most High, it's going to haunt you. Because you're going to look at the news every day. And you're going to see everything we told you. And you're going to realize that you didn't turn to him. Go ahead. Unless you do. First Corinthians right. chapter 3, verse 16. Right. And the way to turn to him is to call on his name, call on Yahweh Shai, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And you pray at night and you read. That's what they don't want you to do. They don't want you to read. And there's nobody out here teaching. That's why we keep coming here. All right, go ahead. It says, this is 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. My cousin died in that uh, restaurant over there. You know what I'm talking about? Where the people were sitting at the table? One of them sitting at the table was my cousin. Bar? Yeah, that bar right there? One of them was my cousin. All right, so we got history, you know what I mean? That's it, rooted here. Go ahead. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Right. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and no, the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Read that again. So if, the if that's not the temple, where is the temple at? Let's read it again. Go ahead. This is 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Yeah. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You don't know that you the temple of the Lord. Right? Go ahead. And that the Spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. The Spirit of the Lord dwells in you. But it got to be the Spirit of truth. You see that? You ever heard about the dry bones? Them bones, them bones, them. Dry bones, them bones, them bones. Them. That, that song? That's in the Bible. Right. I ain't gonna go into that. Go ahead, bro. This is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. Right. Ye also, as a uh, lively stone, are built up a spiritual house right. and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice. So, this is the spiritual sacrifice that we offer up now. We don't have to go kill a lamb and throw it on the altar for our sins. The way, you get, the way you're forgiven now is you come out here and do this. Y'all, yo, hey, turn around and catch them, man. That must be the camp right here. What's that You know what I mean? So you wake up, and the next thing you know, you're like, yo, it's right here. And you watch the videos, we give you the website in a minute. And you watch all the videos, and you mess around and wake up, and you, you know what I'm saying? Puerto Rican? Uh, what about your dad's side? What about your dad's side? Your dad's side? You could be Irish, Italian, anything though. No. So you probably you would be from probably from the tribe of Judah most likely. You know? You don't see like no either, Mike. So uh you probably a your pop Negro, right? Y'all came up with slave shit like me. Yeah. Judah. And ma'am, you uh what's your nationality? Puerto Rican and Irish. Yeah, so I was on point. Ah that's deep. That's y'all. Y'all the biblical Ephraimite. And y'all the top tribe of the northern tribe. The northern half of us, y'all the top tribe. Yeah, we got the website up, YouTube on there, right? No, I don't have YouTube. Yeah, we got to put that on there. That's important for us. Yeah, write this down before you leave. Help him write them out, I guess. I got it. I got it. Uh, help him out. Can you write it for Yeah, yeah, write it, yeah, write it real quick. Uh, uh, write this for him. Just in case he got a roll. Yeah, that's, that's just some reading information. But if you go on YouTube, you're going to find us in England. You're going to find us in Germany. I can show you a video. I can show you a video of every city that you name, and we waking up. Alaska. Huh? Alaska. Alaska. You know what I mean? But well, why not St. Augustine yet? You need some riders, man. The Lord looking for soldiers. He don't want all that church stuff. He looking for riders, man. All right, brother. You know, let's keep rocking, though. You know, y'all listen. You know, just in case y'all leave, you got the information. Wait, brother. I guess so. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Right, the Lord is recording this day against you. Go ahead. That I have set before you life and death. Oh, he's talking to y'all. The Lord has recorded this day against you. He ain't no joke, man. We scared of the Lord. That's why we do this. We're not scared of these people. We're scared of the Most High. Go ahead. Blessings and cursing. So the Lord, read that again, a little clearer. Okay. Son. Uh, again, plug it. I must see it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. Right. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death. Right. Blessings Ooh. and cursing. Therefore, choose life. Yeah, they missed it. He was talking. But, yeah. 
that both thou and thy seed may live. God, so basically, Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shah is saying for life or death before you once we come out here to visit this truth on these highways and byways. That's the, this the doorway. He's letting you know. That's why he said, he that have an ear, let him hear. And that's what we out here to do. To spread the truth around the four corners of the earth to the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right, can you read that one more time? I want these brothers to hear this. Con, let me bring it back out. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. Now check this out. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Right, record this day against you. We love you, brothers, but we still pray that the Lord records it against you. Either you'll be two-thirds or you'll be our brother. Two-thirds of our people going to die. I got blood brothers, family, everybody. They're going to perish. The only ones that promise to make it is Yahweh willing will be me, my children, and maybe my mother if she's in my house. You know what I mean? And maybe whatever woman joins herself to me. Because in that time, when the dollar collapsed, don't sell out for no woman right now. Because when the dollar collapsed, ten women going to be chasing you. That's, that's their power. Their power is in the money and the police. You take the money away, the women going to run right to you. You take the police away, she's going to run. Who they run to? Hey, he, he, so-and-so hit me. They either run to the police or to their brother. You see that? But right now, they ain't worrying about us. You ain't shit, nigga. Cussing in your face, doing all this. Read the Bible. The Bible said they're not supposed to do that. You see that? Read Timothy. Read, man. If the Old Testament's too confusing for you, start from the New Testament. Alright? Start from the New Testament and then read the Old Testament. It'll it, 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 it get you used to reading the Bible. You know what I mean? You know? Alright, go ahead. Alright, this is back at Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse right. 19. Right. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. Blessings and cursings. Right. Therefore, choose life. Hey, choose life. Choose the truth. That is it. All right, brother. Hey, tell them all, man. Spread. That both thou, thou and thy seed may live. So that, that both you and your child may live. All right, from what? World War Three is about to destroy America. And if you're in it, you're going to be cooked missile food. Go ahead. Barbecue. Go ahead. The Lord about to throw a barbecue. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 10. For we must for we must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach. Right. That every man might receive the things done in his body. Right. That's the so-called white man, Chinese, Japanese, everybody. Everybody. You're all going to see judgment for the things you did in your past life. You're here to receive judgment today. Go ahead. According to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Right. And Esau's past, what did they do? Put everybody in slavery. But now everybody's supposed to be hunky dory with them. Everything's supposed to be Disneyland because y'all put us in slavery. Nobody wants to talk about that. We're supposed to be all smiles every day. Even though they put us in slavery and we still got to see y'all every damn day. Go ahead. Verse 11. Right. Knowing, therefore, the terror of Yahweh. Right, we know the terror of the Most High. Go ahead. We persuade men. Right, all right, now. Shalom, but, shalom. We but, persuade men. Go ahead. Shalom. That, it says, Knowing, therefore, the terror of Yahweh, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also. That's right. Are made manifest in your conscience. That's right. So we're being made manifest to the Most High, and manifest in your conscience that this is the truth, you know, and that you can be just like us, mm. as newborn babes. He said, "Desire the sincere milk of the word." It's like it's like being reborn, you know. When you're reborn, you're baptized. This is a true baptism that could be happening, not church. You go in there, they sprinkle tap water on you, I got a proof, sir. and you clean, you know. Go ahead. All right, this is our second Ezra. Oh, sorry. oh. This is second Ezra chapter 14, verse 38. Right. And the next day, behold, a voice called me, saying, Ezra, open thy mouth and drink that I give thee to drink. Then open I my mouth, and behold, he reached me a full cup, which was full as it were with water, but the color of it was like fire. 
and I looked and drank, and when I had drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding and wisdom grew in my breast, for my spirit strengthened my memory, and my mouth was open and shut no more. Right, Con, right. Con, man, you know what I'm saying? So that's how basically that's all of us walked into the truth. All right, so with that being said, man, we, uh, all of us came into the truth by word of, uh, by, by ear of listening to the truth. All right, then, then we took it upon ourselves to go and study and take it on our own, man. All right, build. That's what scripture say, freely receive, freely give. Yeah. All right, so with that being said, man, the more we study, the more we got to get out of here and put it out towards our people. All right, it's just like a like a curse, a virus, man. Yeah, you gotta speak up. Come, it's like a virus. So when 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 we get it and we spread it, man. Once you get it, you gotta keep spreading it, man. That's what you gotta do. Push it out through the whole world, man. That was it. I got a piece of that. That's what he just said. Good. All right, this is Ezekiel three, three and one. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So exactly like how the Aki, my Aki had just said, he said, once you, once, you, once you get this word, once you hear it, keep it. You know what I'm saying? Eat it. You know what I'm saying? Keep, attain it and retain it because this is what, this is what you're going to have the, 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 the stability of your time. You know what I'm saying? It says, speak to the house of Israel. So once you hear this word, go out to your, go out to your people, our people. Right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, go out to them and tell them about, you know what I'm saying, about the good, about the whole about Shimiyahu Shah. That's the whole duty of man, the priest, give charity. All right. Yeah, go ahead, right. All right, this is the book of Sharot, chapter 24, Shalaki, chapter 4, verse 24. For by speech wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. God, so that's what we're supposed to do, man. That's why the scriptures let you know in Revelations 1 and 3, blesses he that read them. And he that hears the words of this, of this prophecy. So now the time is at hand, man. Look at all these signs and symbols we see. You got all these other nations rising up against America. They're not dealing with American currency anymore. Just like the scriptures say. He's got to use the same people that raised up to bring down the children of Israel from being a nation against him. The same people that he made a league with is going to turn back and fire off on them. You know what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures say by, by, by speech wisdom shall be known. Just like I was saying, that's why we study our self-approval in these scriptures. You know, a word meant not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, man. So, and that's how, and that's how we, just like when we get it, just like the brother Arka was saying, we go out and present it before man what the Lord has revealed unto us. You know. Reach up. Go ahead. All right. The second Ezra chapter 15 verse one. It says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy." Which I will put in thy mouth, self the Lord. Con, and that's what we do. We preach in the ears of our people, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. That's a scatter abroad around the four corners of the earth. And it's not according to color. You know, we're not crayon prophets. We understand that our people being scattered abroad the most evil. We got our people that look like the so-called white man, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese, the so-called Hindu Indians, so forth and so on. If they're not of the bloodline of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, they're outside of the nation of Israel. But within that, it was a curse for our people to look like these other nations. Because we didn't want to hearken. We didn't want to listen. So therefore, that came upon our people. That's why we have the confusion of faces, man. That's why we got to judge the spirit by the spirit. Okay, that was it. All right, this is Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 1. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchman, if when he seal the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Right. And this, <laughs> this is the sword that's coming. Hey, bless you, you sister. Hey, I said, sister, you might be an Israelite. Mm -hmm. You never know. You might be. Go ahead. Water? Keep going. All right, verse 4. Then whosoever <laughs> hears the sound of the trumpet and take of not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Right. So we go out and warn the brothers. And we warn our people. 
and they don't listen, the blood gonna be on them. We basically, we say wipe, washing the blood off your own hands. Hey man, that's on you. All right, but but if you.